Okay, so uh, I'm going to have a look at some trigonometry questions, solving equations. Uh, this is kind of aimed at either additional maths or high-level IB maths, or possibly other courses as well. Um, first off, you need to know, I'm going to look at kind of the ones involving sec, cosec, and cot. So you need to know sec is 1 over cos, cosec is 1 over sine, cot is 1 over tan, or cos over sine. Um, and you also need to be using these trig identities, sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1, sec squared x equals 1 plus tan squared x, and cosec squared x is 1 plus cot squared x. And where sec squared is 1 over cos squared, cosec is 1 over sine squared, and cot is 1 over tan squared. Uh, you also need to know the exact trig values. Um, certainly for the, uh, for the IB, HL you would, for the... For the additional maths, you can use a calculator. But anyway, these, these are kind of the, the, the values. And again, you need to basically kind of remember them for HL. There's a little kind of uh, pattern. So root 0 over 2, root 1 over 2, root 2 over 2, etc., etc. Anyway, so you need to kind of know all this stuff already. So let's have a look at some past paper questions. Um, okay, so here's the first one. X is made, measured in radians and X is greater than 10. Find the smallest value of x such that cos x of x plus 1 over 2 is equal to 3. Okay, so first off, we're in radians, so make sure we set our calculation in radians. Um, first step for this kind of question, always just replace whatever's in, in here with theta. So we've got 10 cos theta equals 3, where theta equals x plus 1 over 2. Um, then rearrange it, so therefore we're trying to solve cos theta equals 3 over 10. I do that on my calculator, I'm going to get uh, 1.266 dot 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 dot. Um, now, again, there's different ways of finding the other one. I prefer the cast diagram. So cos is positive in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So this is 1.2666. Both of those angles is 1.2666. So therefore, I'm going to do 2 pi take away 1.266. I'm going to get 5.017. You might prefer a different method. This is the method I like. So there we go, I get two values for theta. I'm going to add 2 pi onto this one, so that's 1.266. Add another 2 pi, I'm going to get 7.549. Um, the reason I added 2 pi is because I don't know which my actual solution is going to be. Because remember, theta is actually x plus 1 over 2. So I now need to solve basically x plus 1 over 2 equal to 1.2666, whatever it was, or x plus 1 over 2 equal to 5.017 or x plus 1 over 2 equals 7.549 dot dot dot. And then I see what I get for x. The first two I solve, I get x is 1.53, x is 9.03. Neither of these is bigger than 10, so I ignore those ones. But if I solve the third one, which is the 7.549 one, if I solve that one, I get 14.1. Therefore, that is the solution that I want for this question here. Okay, let's have another look at another question. Here we go, 4 sine x equals cosec x. Step number one, uh, we've got 4 sine x equals 1 over sine x. Uh, so therefore, times sine x by both sides, 4 sine squared x is equal to 1. Therefore, sine squared x equals 1 over 4. Therefore, sine x is plus or minus a half. And then, again, if I'm going to use my cast diagram method, I know that sine x of a half gives me an angle of 30 degrees. Cast diagram, I'm in positive and negative, so it's all four quadrants. So I basically fill in all these little angles being 30. And then I measure anti-clockwise all the way around. So I've got 30, this is 180 take away 30, this is 180 plus 30, and this is 360 take away 30. So I get those four possible solutions, 30, 150, 210, and 330. Okay, next one. Um, another additional maths question. Cot 2y equals 0.25 in radians. So let's rewrite cot as 1 over tan as theta, where theta equals 2y. Then you just need to solve that. So 1 over, uh, over 0.25 equals tan theta. I'm going to solve that. So stick it on my calculator. I'm going to get 1.325 dot, 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 dot. Um, add pi, so tan is the easy one, just keep adding pi to find another solution. So that's another solution. Add pi again, that's another solution here. 
Remember, I add pi at this point. I don't add pi when I've actually solved the equation. So those are my three values for theta. And then theta is 2 pi. Sorry, theta is 2y. So therefore, divide each of these answers by 2. You get 0 0.66, 2.23, and 3.80. Now, I, I might potentially not know how many of these to carry on. So I might have actually added pi onto the next version. So 7.6, whatever, plus pi. And then obviously I divide by 2. If I do that, I actually get y being greater than 4. So therefore, that is not one of my solutions. So I just get these are my three possible solutions. OK, another one It's getting a bit more difficult. We've got 4 tan squared x plus 15 sec x equals 0. And you could potentially convert it all into sine and cos, but you're probably making life more difficult for yourself. And what they're expecting you to use is use this formula, the sec squared x equals 1 plus tan squared x. The idea is basically to get rid of this tan squared x and just have a formula in terms of sec squared and sec x. So I'm going to say, well, therefore, sec squared x take away 1 is tan squared x. Just take away 1 from both sides. And then going to make the substitution. So 4 bracket, or well, tan squared x is sec squared x take away 1, um, plus 15 sec x equal to 0. I'm then going to expand out the bracket. 4 sec squared x, I got 15 sec x and a minus 4. Now I've got it looking like this. Now I can make a u substitution. I'm going to say that u is equal to sec x. So therefore I can write it as 4u squared plus 15u take away 4. And once I've done that, I can then factorize it. I've got 4u take away 1 and a u plus 4. So that's how that one factorizes. So therefore that gives me a solution of either u is negative 4 or u is 1 quarter. Uh, so I get two possible solutions. Um, and then I remember that, well, actually u is equal to sec x. So therefore, um, sec x, remember here, is equal to negative 4. Or sec x is equal to 1 quarter. Okay, well, if I try and solve it, I remember sec x is negative 4. So therefore, 1 over cos x is negative 4. Therefore, cos x is negative a quarter. That's going to work. If I try and solve the other one, I get sec x is 1 over 4. That's 1 over cos x is a quarter. But therefore, cos x equals 4. There is no solution for that one. So I'm going to ignore that one. So therefore, I just need to solve cos x equals a quarter, uh, negative a quarter. Again, whichever method you've been taught on this one, but the method I like is to solve cos x equals a quarter. That's going to give me an answer of 75.5 dot, 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 dot. But I'm negative, so I'm in the second quadrant. And the third quadrant. Um, so therefore, I'm going to do 180 take away 75.5 and 180 plus 75.5. I'm going to get these two solutions, 104 and 255.5. Okay, so those will be my two possible solutions for that one. Okay, um, next let's just have a look at a couple of, um, this is uh, like proof kind of questions. Um, we're going to try and prove that tan theta plus cot theta over cosec theta is equal to sec theta. Um, uh, a few different ways to do this. Probably the easiest one to make everything into sine and cos. So let's do that. So I've just rewritten this. So tan is sine x over cos x. Cot is cos x over sine x. And cosec is 1 over sine x. Remember, I can't do anything with the right-hand side. I just need to show at the end that I get the correct answer. So let's, okay, so let's look at this fraction on the top. Sine x over cos x plus cos x over sine x. Let's make this fraction, the, the denominator, into cos x sine x. So times the top and the bottom by sine x, times the top and the bottom by cos x. So I'm going to get sine squared x plus cos squared x on the top, and then over cos x sine x on the bottom. And I've still got the 1 over sine x on there. So I get this stage here. OK, I, I can then say, look, well, I know that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So basically, this whole fraction here is the same as 1 over cos x sine x, which is this thing here, 1 over cos x sine x. And then I'm dividing by 1 over sine x. Well, if I divide by a fraction, it's the same as the fraction flipped upside down. So this is, so divide by 1 over sine x is the same as times by sine x over 1. So I get 1 over cos x sine x times sine x over 1. Sine x cancel out, 
I get 1 over cos x, which is equal to sec x. Okay, a couple more questions on identities. Here's the first one. 1 plus sec theta brackets cos sec theta take away cot theta. And I want to show that's equivalent to tan theta. Do the same idea as the last one. Let's make everything into cos and sine. So I'm going to do that first. 1 plus 1 over cos theta, 1 over sine theta, take away 1 over tan theta. And then, yeah, I'll say that 1 over tan theta is the same as cos theta over sine theta. Uh, you could, if you wanted to now, expand out each term. It's going to be easier if you actually make both of these into single fractions first. So let's actually try and make, so top and bottom, let's make both into cos x. So cos x over, so cos theta over cos theta is 1. So I'm, I'm going to be able to add those in a minute. And equally, uh, these are already uh, in sine theta and sine theta on the bottom. So I'm going to be able to add them as well. So I've now got cos theta plus 1 over cos theta. And this is the first bracket. And 1 take away cos theta over sine theta. That's in the second bracket. Now, uh, if I expand out this, I just do top times top, bottom times bottom. Cos theta plus 1. And then 1 take away cos theta. I'm going to end up with a minus cos squared theta plus 1. And then on the bottom, I'm going to get cos theta times sine theta. So I get this. So minus cos squared theta plus 1 over cos theta sine theta. Okay. And then I say, well, actually, uh, I'm going to use this identity. Here. Cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. Therefore, sine squared theta is 1 take away cos squared theta. So therefore... If you've got uh, minus cos squared theta plus 1, that's the same thing, basically. So therefore, we can make the substitution that this here is equal to sine squared theta. So I've now got sine squared theta on the top, sine theta cos theta on the bottom. Divide both psi. I've got sine on the top, sine on the bottom. So I get just sine theta over cos theta. Sine theta over cos theta is equal to tan of theta. Okay, and then last question. Here we go. Uh, prove that cos x over 1 plus tan x minus sin x over 1 plus cot x, and then again equals cos x minus sin x. Same as before. Uh, let's make everything into cos and sin. Uh, tan is sin over cos. Cot is cos over sin. There's a little trick for this one. Um, basically, this fraction here, remember, like as long as you times top and bottom by the same thing in a fraction. That makes it an equivalent fraction. So the, the first fraction, I'm going to times every single thing by cos x. So I'm going to times the, the fraction by cos x, this by cos x, and the numerator by cos x. If I do that, I'm going to get cos x. This becomes 1 times cos x is cos x, plus, well, sin x over cos x times cos x is sin x. And then cos x times cos x is cos squared x. So that becomes this one. This one I'm going to do the same idea, but this time I'm going to times everything by sine x. So times cos x over sine x by sine x, times 1 by sine x, and times sine x by sine x. I'm going to get this, sine squared x on the top, sine x plus cos x on the bottom. Um, now I've got the cos x plus sine x as the denominator on both of them. That's going to allow me to just simplify it out to this. So I've got cos squared x, take away sine squared x on the top, cos x plus sine x on the bottom. Now, cos squared x take away sine squared x. I can rewrite that as cos x plus sine x and cos x minus sine x. So if you expanded out that bracket, you get the cos squared x, you get the minus sine squared x, and then the, the other bits would cancel out. So I'll have cos squared, cos x, sine x, cos x minus sine x on the top, and I've still got the cos x plus sine x on the bottom. You'll notice the fractions are the same. I've got uh, cos x plus sine x on the top, cos x plus sine x on the bottom. They cancel out. And what's left is cos x take away sine x.